Hello, very good day to all my dearest students out there. We are here with another webinar of Know Your Exam series by RFA Tutors. Is my voice audible and clear to all of you out there? Hi, can you all hear me? Is it audible, friends? Yes, hello, Sarah. Hi, Dima. Hello, Maria. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Abu. Hello, Hera. Thank you very much for joining in to Know Your Exam series of MRCP Part 2 Written Exam. Actually, I had been receiving lots of messages since yesterday that you people want a meetup on the details of the member Royal College of Physicians Ireland in Obstetrics and Gynecology. Undoubtedly, it is a prestigious degree. So MRCPI, we all know, is an internationally recognized qualification in obstetrics and gynecology, friends. And it's accredited by the Medical Council of Ireland as the foremost knowledge-based assessment for OBS and gynae in Ireland. So warm welcome from the entire team of RFA theaters to the start of the new journey today. Thank you very much for joining in. Happy to see you all. The most successful people, they make it look easier, but believe me, nothing is overnight. It's just the hard work and being consistent in efforts which make you reach the goal and a journey of thousand miles that definitely begins with the first step. So today we are learning those baby steps to reach to the degree, to reach to our goal. What are we going to discuss today? We are going to discuss about the MRCPI Part 2 written exam, how to prepare for MRCPI Part 2 written exam. The most important thing for which we are here is actually tomorrow is our booking. The window is opening and we are concerned about this. So we are going to have a chit chat on that. Why do students fail in such an exam and how to make it in one go? Thank you very much for joining in. This is our goal, our aim, RCPI, the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. We are going to take an oath today to make it happen, to make it a successful try. Friends, the MRCPI in Obstetrics and Gynecology qualification that's recognized by the General Medical Council in the United Kingdom, this means what? This means that international medical uh, graduates can apply for full registration with a license to practice in United Kingdom if they hold MRCPI in obstetrics and gynecology. Now this thing, which is actually an additional part because the MRCOG, that channel that has been prolonged because of the unfortunate pandemic situation. And that's the reason that students, they actually took this decision to have a, a, a parallel degree, which can make them uh, have the GMC registration. So this is something which is going to help them for the future practice if they want to practice in UK. Welcoming the decision of our CPI president, Professor Mary Hogan said, and I quote friends, this is a significant development that widens the training and employment opportunities for doctors who have achieved our postgraduate qualification. Our college has always had strong links and excellent collaborative relationships with our colleagues in United Kingdom. This is further recognition of the high esteem that our membership exams are held in as a mark of attaining high quality medical training, I unquote, Professor Hogan said. Now this all you need to remember because this is going to give you an, uh, an opportunity to work, all of you who want to have their GMC registration. This is another pathway which we can take. And why do I emphasize on this and comparison to the MRCOG? Because it's an easier exam. One exam paper with 100 single best answers, and you've got three hours to complete the exam. Students, they're always worried about the extended match questions in MRCOG, and here there are no EMQs at all, and no negative marking. And the best part is that for the last three or four exams in the COVID situation that have been from home. So I just tried to make certain differences because this is what I had been receiving the queries for the last uh, one week or so. Students want to know that, ma'am, how this is different from Member Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynecology United Kingdom. See, when we talk about the MRCOG friends, I need your attention, everyone. We have got 50 single best answers. We've got 50 extended match questions and we've got two exam papers, right? The gynecology and the obstetrics. Are you all with me? 
Sara, Shweta, Hera, Dr. Abu, Maria, Dima, everybody's with me, yeah? When we talk about the MRCPI, thank you, Gia. When we talk about the MRCPI, there are only 100 single best answers in a single paper. So if you don't have two, two papers for the MRCPI, that's benefit number one. Now, second benefit is that MRCOG, there are two papers and it's a lengthy exam. Now, in MRCPI, we have got only one paper and only 100 single best answers in three hours. In MRCOG, Nikita, Maria, we have to go to the Pearson Center and take our exam. MRCPI is on a test reach application by the college, and that's from your home. You have to sit in your home for three hours, and you have to take this exam. In MRCOG, the priority goes with the green top guideline, nice and talk articles. In MRCPI, 80% of the preparation is the same. Only 41 Irish guidelines are additional, and that too. Out of them, I'm going to pin down the ones in which the recommendations are different. I tell my students who've already done the MRCOG, it's absolutely fine to go with the same preparation. If you talk about me, I did my MRCOG, I completed my MRCOG, and after that, I took only 25 days to appear in MRCPI Part 2 written. Why? Because you just need to learn the differences of the Irish college. That's it. There's nothing different in your preparation. In fact, when you've done the MRCOG books, MRCPI is easier as compared to MRCOG. Am I clear so far? Because I'm going to move forward to the further preparation techniques then. Am I clear so far? Did you people understand the difference because you wanted me to elaborate on that? That's perfect. Very well done. Okay, now yesterday I received a query from one of the students who was from Iraq and she messaged me, one of the students from Jordan, she messaged me the ma'am, uh, we want to know that are we eligible to take the MRCPI part two written direct or we have to take this exam first as an MRCPI part one. All of you please, it's very clearly written on the site. And you just have to remember that MRCPI part one, it's not in obstetrics and gynecology, that's point number one. So it's in general medicine and pediatrics. However, you do have the exemption of MRCPI part one if you have passed your MRCOG part one exam. And that actually goes for all my students because 90, 95% of the students, they have taken their MRCOG part one, they can directly appear into MRCPI part two written. Could I make this query clear? Did I address your concern, friends? Yeah? When you have taken MRCOG part one and you have cleared your MRCOG part one, you can directly appear into MRCPI part two rating. Is this clear? Yeah? Okay. Another important thing is that it's not now applicable, but back in before 2016, there were certain exemptions of MRCOG part one as well. Now, if any of the student had an exemption of MRCOG part one, that is not valid for directly appearing into MRCPI part two written. In simple words, you all should be knowing that either you have your MRCOG part one degree, or you've got your MRACOG Australia, or you have your MRNZ COG New Zealand or South African degree or the fellowship of Pakistan, or you've got Malaysian basic obstetrics and gynecology degree. If you have these degrees, you are eligible to directly appear into MRCPI part two written. Am I clear? So you all are eligible for this. If at all you have these degrees, could I make myself clear? Yes, everybody clear about this? Okay, that's perfect. Well done. So you all have to make your first thing ready for the documentation tomorrow, and that is your MRCOG part one result. Right, Zara? That is accepted, my dear. If you have passed your MRCOG part one, that is accepted. You're going to upload your result tomorrow in the documents. Am I clear about this? You just have to upload this MRCOG part one result tomorrow. I'll tell you the list what you have to make ready tonight so that tomorrow you are ready and you do that in time. Okay. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Binte Ghazi. Thank you very much. All right. Let's move forward and see that there are certain changes in criteria and students are worried about this. This is from March 2022. Now, the first thing which I have to clarify to all of you is that yes, 
the college has made changes in the entry criteria. However, this is not valid for those who have submitted their initial assessments, <clears throat> okay? What I mean to say about this is, for example, I know many of the students here. Uh, Dr. Khalid, are you there? Uh, 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 and I know Bushra is here. Okay, and, 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 all right. Students who have made their submission of the documents last time or previously, and they did not get the seat, all right? So they don't have to submit again. Yes, Maria, they don't have to submit again. What I mean to say is that your assessment has been done. However, you did not get the seat because of the shortage of the seats. That does not mean that you have to apply again for your assessment of your training criteria. Okay, but there are certain students who are basically submitting their documents for the first time today, right? If they are submitting for the first time, it's very clear nine months gynecology, nine months obstetrics, or the combination 18 months of post-registration training should be there. So that is signed by your hospital authority that you had been working for 18 months in obstetrics and gynecology. Am I clear? Initially, what happened was in our times, they were taking the complete training criteria. They were not distributing into the OBS and gyne. Now you have to make separate certificates. Like we did work nine months. We did work nine months in OBS, nine months in gyne. And this is going to be uploaded. So it is not difficult because you all have been working for the same. And if you have been through your MRCOG assessment, that is four years. So here they're asking for only 18 months. Got it? Yes, Maria. So nine months gynecology certificate and nine months obstetric certificate. That's it. Claire Maria, Shweta, yes, ex exactly, Shweta, you all are going to basically apply tomorrow for the March 2022 exam, okay? So what you have to make ready is a nine months gynecology and nine months obstetric certificate ready, and you're going to upload that. Claire, okay. Now, there are certain attestations you have to do for the college so that you're ready for taking the exam. That is your primary medical degree, friends. You should be having your passport star photograph, 100 into 100 pixels. Also, your part one result, all these attestations should be there. Along with that, your testimonial form. Nikita, this is the testimonial form, sweetheart, which I'm just going to tell you now, okay? Nikita, pay attention here. Now, about this testimonial form, students, they're messaging them out from where to get it filled. And from there, we have to get this testimonial form signed. It does not matter at all. Believe me, students, they send their uh, documents to get checked by me or the moderator. What, what is required is any of the doctor, may that be a general practitioner, may that be any specialist in your hospital, anybody can sign. And what you have to do is you have to write in the block letters here the name. Yeah. And the address. Address is like the hospital address. OK, it has to be block capitals. Why in the uppercase? So that it's eligible. OK. And a second person, again, the name and the address of the hospital. That's it. OK. Then they have to put their signature here and signature. I've got many samples. I would put that in the study group so that you people know. However, this is just a, a basically a witness that, yes, they know you, that you're a practicing doctor. You are in obstetrics and gynecology. That's it. OK. What they want is that somebody is a witness, somebody knows you. Uh, one of my friends, uh, she just told that, you know, her sister signed for her, any colleague in the hospital, a few of the students, they tell me that husband signed for them. So it's not a big problem. Anybody in the who is a doctor, may that be GP, may that be any speciality, can write for you the name and the address to doctors, okay, and their, their signatures and the date so that this is ready. Am I clear? It's okay, Sharika. It's not currently. Sharika, sweetheart, you can take the older one. Sharika, when you were working at that time, that's it. Okay? When you were working, you have their experience certificate, right? I will put that, Shweta. I will put the sample in the, in the study group, okay? In the paid study group, I've already put one, and I've, I've already put some screenshots of the last exams and last to last exam with students they did. And I'm going to put even the test for each video. Everything is with me from the last courses. I'm going to put that there, okay? All right? All right, okay. So thank you very much. Thank you. 
<laughs> thank you, Dima, for the explanation. Thank you. All right. So am I clear about this? Now, another thing important is that you do that. You take a printout of this uh, testimonial form, but you all should be knowing You all should be knowing that you should keep the scanned copies ready with you. Do you people understand that? Why? Because you're going to upload these documents. So today you're going to do that. So all these documents, for example, MRCOD part one degree, all right? If you talk about the uh, this testimonial form, you get it signed, then you have to scan it and put it in your laptop. Why? Because tomorrow you're going to upload the scanned copies. If you're not going to scan them, of course, then it's going to be a time-taking process tomorrow. Do people understand? We are doing the preparation for tonight, yeah? Okay, so all this should be ready for tomorrow so that uploading is easier. The documents which I've mentioned should be in a folder as a scanned copy so that that can be uploaded when tomorrow the link would open for the booking. Attestation can be from anywhere, any place, and attestation can be there. Uh, nobody tends to bother about this, but you should be clear that attestation, basically they want it to be an authentic, uh, authentic degree, authentic documents, that's it, all right? Okay, now what are we aiming for, friends? Uh, today is 30th of November 2021, and tomorrow is 1st of December 2021, and that's the opening date of the MRCPI Part 2 written OBS and Gynae exam. So um, tomorrow, as soon as it is going to be open, please stay available at the Telegram. All the moderators will be active for you guys. They're going to explain everything to you guys. If at any point you people are stuck up in the uploading of the documents, everybody would be available there. They're going to explain to you specifically stepwise because few of the students, they have their difficulties in the um, on the uh, uploading of the documents or for that matter, they stuck up at some point. So we all would be there to guide you guys in the uploading. Now, the most important thing in application is that earlier you do, the better it is. There's no surety that we'll get the seat, but of course, I mean, wasting time, that's never a wise idea. So as soon as it is going to start, Dr. Khalda would be there as well. And as soon as the link would open, you all have to be ready for the things. Why? Because the earlier you do, the better it is, because it's going to be lots of applications. And out of that, tomorrow, only the submission of the applications are starting. Students are messaging me, ma'am, are we going to pay tomorrow? Should we be ready with our credit cards as well? Nothing like that. Tomorrow, credit card is not needed. Tomorrow, it's only the opening dates of the applications. Your applications are going to be submitted. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, you come to know about your exam just 20 or 30 days before the exam. Basically, they send you the confirmation at that time. I remember I had only 15 days when I came to know that the uh, basically the acceptance is there. OK, so please remember for that in uh, for the for the application submission that earlier you do on the op opening time better it is for you guys all right dr abu generally it is the 8 to 9 a.m ireland time that makes same gmt's time right generally but i'm going to announce as as immediately when it would be started okay when the students they open up the portal immediately i'm going to announce that but be ready around 8 to 9 a.m uk time or the irish time that is the same time zone all right so th this is about the exam which you people are heading towards the next is going to be in september so twice a year we have this mrcpi part two written now uh till here i would like uh, dr khalda dr khalda are you there no, no, 15 days, Khalda. <laughs> 15 to 20 days, Dr. Khalda. Uh, Dr. Khalda Rahman, are you there? I think you'll not be able to unmute. Let me help you in that. All right. Oh, keys. Can't see you. Yes, yes, Dr. Khalda, you don't have to do that. No, no, you don't have to do that. Only your account and you have to click on the link, all right? Okay, so tomorrow I will, uh, did you people see in the in the uh, study group, I have, sh I have uh, shared some pictures of the uploading of the documents. Did you people see that on the right-hand side, they've written the uploading of the documents. On the left-hand side, it is written that, okay, this is your picture, you have to do that. Yeah, all right. Dr. Abu, did you see, I have posted that Sarah saw, Okay, that's great. Those pictures you have to follow because that would be your screen after this. 
All right. If somebody has not seen, please drop in a message because I've given a sequential picture that how your portal would be, where you have to upload your documents, that's a click, and where you have to put in the details of the of a picture and your documents as well. So everything in a sequence. Uh, Rakshanda, it comes as a sequence of your hospital. You just have to click on that hospital and that's going to be written. I, I will share the pictures in the in the morning as well when you people would be doing so that uh, I stay with you guys. All right, the moderators would be there as well. Nothing to worry. Okay, if somebody has not seen, please let me know. I have uh, put that actually in the registered group in the study group. If somebody is not in the registered group, no worries. Let me know. I'll put that in the open Telegram. Okay, nothing to worry. All right. Now coming to the preparation aspect. Uh, the preparation aspect, see, we have got 41 Irish guidelines, but the thing is that out of that, only 13 to 14 guidelines are different or new. Rest are absolutely the same. So I stand by my words. Sharika, this is in the MRCPI study group, my dear. Sharika, it's in MRCPI study group, my dear. All right. Yes, Kalda, that's going to be your noon KSA time. Yeah, my dear. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the account has to be there. RCP account, you're going to open up in your account, my dear. All right. Uh, Maria, it's going to be from home, sweetheart. <laughs> the exam is going to be from home. All right. You're going to pick up either. Yes, that's from your home. Yes, Dima, stay ready at ATM UK time. All right. Now, coming to the preparation aspect, I know you people are stressed up about the booking tomorrow, but you should be knowing after this process that how to prepare. Now, 80% of the preparation is same, and I stand by my words that after MRCOG reading, you just require around 20, 25 days for MRCPI, simple. See, the postmenopausal ovarian cyst uh, guideline, that has a different recommendation. The Irish guideline 25, I news charting, that's different. Irish guideline six, the interpartum fetal heart rate monitoring, that is different. The urinary retention, we do not have in the uh, UK source, so we always do it from the Irish source, the Irish guideline number 41. The NTD, that is absolutely different. In Ireland, we use different doses. It's 625 and 1,200 international unit in Ireland as compared to United Kingdom, where we are using 250 and 500 international unit. Only the doses are different as per the practice. Obesity guidelines, the diabetes values are different, which I always make the algorithms and make the differences that these are the differences from RCOG and what this is what the RCPI says. So if you're going to make a comparison of each guideline, it would be super easy for all of you to grasp that what exactly we have to learn. Management of pelvic girdle pain, that's only we've got one Irish guideline, 16. The ultrasound diagnosis of early pregnancy miscarriage, the Irish guideline one, that has got different in the recommendations as per the gestational sac diameters, as per the diameters of the, and as per the length, uh, the CRL, that is different from the NICE guideline. Therefore, we need to do the Irish measurements for this. Yeah. Then management of the early pregnancy miscarriage, the mesoprostol doses, they vary from that of UK. Management of second trimester miscarriage, again, the mesoprostol is different here. The methadone that is only touched in Irish guideline 21 and the fetal growth restriction, the Irish guideline 28. The FGR recommendations of Doppler, the frequency of repetition of umbilical artery Doppler, that's absolutely different as compared to the green top guidelines, more for gestational age recommendations. Therefore, for these guidelines only, you need to make a parallel chart. And when I take the live session, I always say, this is what RCOG says. This is what RCPI says. So you should be very clear in your recommendation part. Only this part, if you just take your 10, 15 days, that will be done. The green top guidelines, we are going to cover all the green top guidelines, specifically those which are not in the Irish recommendations, for which we do not have the Irish source at all. We are going to do the same green top guidelines, which you had been learning for your MRCOG part two. Then comes your NICE guideline. See friends, there are certain NICE guidelines for which we do not have the green top guidelines, for which we do not have the Irish recommendations like suffertility, like interpartum, and these are must modules. And for this, we have to do the NICE guideline. For this, please do not go into the percentages. The best part of MRCPI is that none of the question would test you in the percentage. I know this is nightmare for the students. 
So you all have to be easy, only the recommendations and the scenario based 100 single best answers would be there. Now, I would take specific session on the talk article because there are certain talk articles for the Irish exam which they're really fond of. Every time there are 10 to 15 talk articles and on the website you've got summaries of those Irish talk articles emphasis upon specifically those where from where they always give the single best answer. So nothing to worry because there are single best answers, those topics which are not covered by the GTG or Irish source and those which are important in the last three years and those even in the older talk publications which actually come repeatedly in exam. I've already penned down that and the uh, summaries are also available for you guys on your portal. Moreover, I would cover that in the live session for you guys as well. Now you need to remember that FSRH, that is only the recommendations would be sufficient, but we need to do along with that the BASH guidelines. Consent every time two single best answers comes from the consent part. And most importantly, we have to do the Irish cervical check. I would like to update all of you here from year 2020, the Irish cervical check as per the NHS cervical screening has been shifted to the HPV, the human papillomavirus tri-age. Therefore, it's different now. So those algorithms from the Irish cervical check I'm going to cover, this is something which is going to be only the summaries and the outline and the algorithms would do the job. We don't need to go into detail because there are 100 single best answers. And I can specify to you guys that how many questions they tend to come from which part. Now, the third part, which I wanted to discuss with you guys, Maria, that we should be knowing about the problems which we face. At times, the students, they don't understand the gist of exam. When I say these are 100 single best answer, I can specifically tell, okay, 10 would be coming from this module, five would be coming from this module, maternal medicine does contain 12 to 15 questions, no, I do not want any of the student to have a non-focused preparation. The very first thing we need to understand is to have the examination strategy very clear in our mind. We need to work on our examination stress and the mindset issues that should be very clear to, to us. Yeah, These are the problems with students they face and together as a team, as a family, we're going to work on these solutions. We're going to have the targeted approach, time management for 100 single best answers and three hours. Believe me, it's more than enough. Students, they tend to finish the exam earlier. They start calling me, ma'am, it's done. <laughs> and I say, please repeat the, repeat the questions, revise the questions, do them again. Because see, they are used to those EMQs and fighting against time, rushing against, uh, you know, finishing up the exam questions. Here, it's going to be easier for you guys but we need to practice in that part. We need to be very clear on this situation that these are the problems with students they face because every time it's very difficult to get seat friends, every time it's very difficult to, to, to have the access towards the exam again and again and more over, of course, it's a financial stress for the students as well. The family tends to sacrifice, the finances you people sacrifice, therefore, give it your best shot and just make it happen in what first go, yeah? The most important thing is the, uh, no, Radhika, I'm going to take this question and answer this question, sweetheart. Radhika, you joined late. I actually addressed this query in the beginning, but I'll answer this again just in a bit, okay? Now, coming to the books, the same single best answer books, because we do not have anything from the Irish source, so only the same single best answer books you have to do. These single best answer books you have to do from the Andresizers, Amanda Jones, Janesh Gupta, the same mastering, um, older Andresizers, the succeeding. From all these parts, I always suggest doing all the single best answers and you make a schedule to practice the books. Side by side, you should be doing. If at all you have time, I do have a suggestion that do the extended match questions as well, because that tends to make your knowledge a little better. 
I had this request for the last one year from students that uh, how to go about the MRCPI different recommendations. So this was the book which we published and many of the students, they passed last time. And this is the book for only for MRCPI, which we published around um, uh, six months back. It was an online book and it's still available before exam, you're going to put it second edition as well, because this contains the MRCPI recommendations in itself, and it is topic wise, module wise. So students, they do a module and then they check the answer in this book, because for example, you do Sir Andrew Sizer's book, of course, the NTD is going to be 250 and 500, right? as for the recommendations of the UK source. But here, all the Irish answers are given. And specifically, we have put the stress on those questions where the recommendations are different. So this is the only online book that is available for the MRCPI. Once you get the seed, then definitely I'm going to gu guide you guys that how you have to utilize this, yeah? Okay, so about the practice, in the detail, you just have to do the same single best answer module wise, and I'm going to ensure that you people do that side wise. All right, Binte Ghazi, I'm going to publish that in uh, one month time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sure, Maria. This is the only book online and students last time, uh, I think there were like uh, 200, 300 students who actually use this, but uh, I'm really glad that they managed to do and, and it was it was really a very, very good feedback. Thank you very much. So yeah, it's available. Yeah, it's available on the website. As soon as you register, it gets this and um, uh, it's on your portal. Okay. So what are the course features, friends, who are messaging since yesterday that, ma'am, we want to take it and we just want to do it now in all the study groups, in the premium study groups. You people are so many there, 450 in MRCT part two. You people are so many in the MRCT part three. So you've got your own coupons. Please use your own coupons. And live sessions are going to be by, by me and it's going to be a sequential module wise. All the talk articles, the green top guidelines and the nice guidelines summaries would be there. All the recordings which are important for the exam will be there. The Faculty of Sexual and Reproductive Health written guideline summaries will be there. Irish guideline flashcards are very important. And you'll see that there for the quicker reflex, it's already there. The Irish guideline summaries in the written format, they're already on the portal. You just have to pick up the highlighted points from there. And along with that, the best part is that you do Irish guideline number one and you go to the question pool on your website and you solve the questions from Irish guideline number one. You do the Irish guideline number two and then you solve the question from Irish guideline number two because we do not have the Irish SBAs. So what we did was that we gathered up the questions from the guideline, we made them in the form of single best answer and once you complete one of the guideline, you just have to go into its question pool and solve the question and make your assessment for that, okay? Similarly, when you're going to do the green top guideline, the nice guidelines, similarly, you're going to go to its question pool as well. And then you've got talks specifically, which are for RCPI exam. That is a complete notes on your website available, all right? 24-7 support, uh, Dr. Myra, Dr. Bushra, uh, Safa, all the moderators are going to be there. They're going to help you. The quiz sessions will be there. The study group is going to be active for that, right? And more exams for the personal assessment. After each, after each a module, the mock exam will be there for your assessment. And of course, we are going to take the boosters in the end as well. Thank you very much. All right. Now let's get started, friends, because tomorrow the schedule is starting after you're booking, you send your applications. We are going to do the gynecology module, the subfertility, the dates are going to be in your uh, premium group the urogynecology, the contraception, the oncology, the surgical emergencies, antenatal care, the maternal medicine would have around three sessions, the labor module would have around two sessions, early pregnancy we are going to cover, and a separate session of the exam related talk articles. So every week we would be having the last one month, we would be having twice a week when you would be clear about your examination start that yes, you people are appearing in exam. Sure, Nikita, I'm going to take all the questions one by one, sweetheart, just now. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, the payment link for MRCPI written, all inclusive course, this is what the link you're going to go, but it is not 449. This is for you guys only for 72 hours. The ones who have not yet registered, 
for the next 72 hours, you're going to use the coupon. You will go to got a coupon on this link. When you go to got a coupon, you're going to put RFA199. RFA199, right? When you put there and you do Whaley date, on Whaley date, you are going to have a reduced in the price and you're going to do check out. So it would be reduced to 199. Please keep a note, but for 72 hours only. All right. Uh, Dr. Kalda, I'm going to announce that in the premium group. Um, I'm keeping for MRCPI the Wednesdays. All right. Wednesdays or Thursdays, I'm going to keep. I'm going to check with you guys and then we'll decide for the timings as well. All right. OK, I'm happy to take the question one by one, please. I know lots of questions were coming in between. OK, Radhika's question. Radhika, MRCOG definitely is a bigger college, right? But at the same time, because the pathway is a little longer, people are going towards MRCPI because the GMC registration that is possible after MRCPI as well. All right, Radhika, are you there, my dear? I'm answering your question. Moreover, Radhika, you you know that uh, you are reading that for your local degree, which you just completed with the flying color, sweetheart. Yeah. With that, you did your uh, obstetrics and gynecology. Then, sweetheart, if you're doing your MRCOG, the same knowledge you're going to use. So when I was doing MRCP, I was just thinking that I just need 15, 20 days extra from my MRCOG. That's it. So what I mean to say is that you have to get your child check to a doctor. I, I ask a question, simple question to all of you. So Dr. Khalda or Nikita, you people have to get your child checked or for that matter, you have to take your sister to, um, you're not a gynecologist, okay? You are taking a sister to a gynecologist. Now you're standing in the hospital and you're looking at the boards. No matter, no matter whatsoever is the name, but if you're going to see so many A, B, C, D, E, F, G on the board, for once you'll be thinking, that, okay, so many degrees. Do people agree with that? Do people agree that writing multiple degrees that definitely improves your stature, that definitely improves and has an impact on your practice as well? Yeah, so it definitely does matter. And moreover, it's not something like out of the pathway. It's absolutely the same effort which we are doing for the one degree. So why not to go for, for another one in the same in the same uh, preparation time period. Do people understand? Yeah? <laughs> so that's what I want to tell you guys, that it's it's pretty natural that uh, if you can do with like 10, 15% of an effort more, that will be easier for you guys to get another. With MRCOG, you can write MRCPI with you guys as well. Got it? Radhika, am I clear, my dear? And I'm sure, I mean, the type of a student you are, uh, you'll definitely make me proud. I know you. Thank you, Radhika. All right. Uh, MRC Clash with MRCOG? No, my dear. May I know Lukman Abzu? Which student is this? Sorry. I think your husband's name is uh, on the Zoom. Uh, okay. I'll... Amina. All right, Amina, my dear. Amina, it would not, my dear, because the modules are going to be the same. And I tell you always that for students, because I know this is how I studied for myself. Uh, when I do, I cover the Irish guideline. I always tell that this is different from the RCOG. So that when you are sitting together, because many of my January students, they are taking the March MRCPI. Many of my March MRCPI students, they're taking the July MRCOG. This is how the students, they do. Because me as a mentor, I have to take care of their mindset. So I compare and I ask them to make a notebook that this is what RCPI says. This is what RCOG says. And rest, don't bother yourself because the recommendations are the same. Got it, Amina? Amina, got it? Yeah, uh, Dr. Khalda, it's going to be around one month. You'll get time, okay? Not, not more than that. So you'll be coming to know that, yes, around uh, in uh, mid or end of the January. Okay, Maria says, for it more than 18 months experience because I'm working at present. Yes, Maria, after you pass your MRCPI part two to two, you're eligible for the OSCE. Okay, yeah. And OSCE is on site, yeah. That's after you pass your MRCPI part two to two. Thank you very much, Maria. Any other question, please? Dr. Abu, are you clear? Dr. Khalda, are you there? Dr. Khalda Salim. Uh, I applied before and did not pass. No worries, Sharon. You can do that now. Nikita, please copy paste your question. No worries, Sharon, my dear. You just have to do now. See, we are going to work on those weaknesses where we were wrong, where we need to practice more. There must be some shortcoming where we need to put attention. All right? 
Okay, yes. Uh, definitely, yes, Shereen, you need to apply again, but this time you're not going to put your documents. You're not going to put your documents. All right, do you get that? Uh, Dr. Abu, so far, no. They did this time in United Arab Emirates and in the Ireland. There were two, two um, exam um, uh, sessions going on. This time it was in UAE and the other was in the Ireland. Uh, Sharika, the schedule is beginning tomorrow as per the modules, my dear. However, the live sessions I'm starting from 15th of December. Or just the testimonial for uploading. Okay, Maria, I've got Dr. Khalda here. Hello, Dr. Khalda, how are you doing? Hello, hi, Dr. Khalda, how are you doing? Asalaamu Alaikum, Dr. Sandra. Wa Alaikum Asalaam, how are you, Dr. Khalda? Glad to know, finally, you are in the priority students. <laughs> it's long, yeah. long time. It's such a, it's such a long time, you know, especially when my two Seriously. friends got last time, two days, I, I was really very disappointed. I know, and I was equally disappointed because, you know, I know you guys for so long. It's been like three, three and a half years now that you people are with me. And I was really thinking that now is the time, at least you should have an opportunity to appear. So thankfully, college did think about that, Dr. Khalda. So wow. that's, <laughs> that's great to know. Uh, Dr. Khalda, please guide students because I know for the last two times you had been uh, uploading the things. Uh, students have a question that when they upload the thing from where you have to tell stepwise like step number one where you go and the click and then uh, tell them that where they have to upload and tomorrow stay available with me all right <laughs> okay yeah uh, i don't know exactly the time what time they are opening i uh, think uh, Dr. Dr. they said 8 a.m 8 a.m or 9 a.m we all would be like fingers crossed okay we'll be guiding the students at that time all right yeah because i'm night duty so i will be available in i'll Allah, wake i'll, I'll wake you up don't worry i'll wake you up don't worry <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay dr Kala, please explain to them about okay. the sequence of the link yeah go ahead first of all first of all the most important thing is that all of you should have an account on your rcpi website it's when you open the part two written exam on the on the right corner there is a face so once you go there you create your account so that tomorrow when you before time, five minutes before time, you open your account. When you open your accounts, at the exactly when the time will reach, the it will the, for the application to open. And down on the page, you will find two bars: one application for the uh, Ireland students, and one is the application for the international students. So once you click the international for the application for the international students, it will guide you stepwise. The first form will be the first page of the application will be definitely your your own uh, personal data then i think after that it comes the your qualification then comes the uh, your uploading of the data one uh, uploading of your documents uploading of documents uh, the the student do ask whether it will be jpg form GP, jpg form or it will be pdf not necessary even in jpg form uh, you can also upload your documents uh, whatever the documents they need that is your testimonial primary degree post graduation degree and then you are um uh, this one mrcog part one all these documents when you upload your picture it, it, the the page will guide you by yourself first uh, page wise you will go, you will uh, you will go and finally once you everything will be complete because then they ask you certain questions the page is guiding you by yourself the important thing is to know to prepare your documents in a separate slide and in a separate file and once they ask you to put the document you choose your file and just put it there you can put you can put it one by one and you can put it together as well better perfect. one by one yeah perfect dr father please tell them the checklist for today because tomorrow it's starting i want that nobody is like yeah. late tomorrow yeah. so let's let's yeah. make a checklist number one yeah number one create your account okay so uh, listen to me friends nobody should be without an account for tomorrow today you just have to make an account and be sure that the account is there so that tomorrow you just log into your account number two dr Khalda. Number two, just uh, after account open, go right to the end of your uh, that page, and you will find two bars: one for the international, one for the no. one checklist for today, Doctor yeah. Khalda. Today they have to prepare what other than an account. What? They yeah. have to prepare their documents uh, in yeah. a file. They can they can prepare it in two forms. One is one they should prepare their file together. That is of their MRCUG part one, their MBBS degree, if any post graduation degree experience certificate if they, if somebody don't have post graduation and only experience they can put that experience certificate their picture and their testimonial these things together either they can do two things they can put it separate separate 
and one together file. So accordingly, uh, then they can put it, whether they want it together or they can, it can be either way. There is no restriction from their side, but the to for their easiness so that they don't have difficulty, they can prepare in two form. And that's all for today. Then the application, once it open, it will guide you stepwise and then you can submit it. The, as soon as it should open, it should be clicked on because it better early, better. No, and Dr. Khalda, they have to they have to scan their testimonial today as well, right? So that should be also ready. Yeah, yeah? and definitely it should be scanned and put in their uh, computer. Folder and in the, which the laptop they, they have, uh, they are opening their application. It should be available as a file in their laptop. So exactly. that one is the, uh, this yeah. is the thing. And Dr. Khalda, what about the training aspect? Because they are asking about their training. I mean, how far they've done the 18 months thing. So there was another section separate, right? Last time I remember that you all were discussing in the study group that time. That's the training group. I, I exactly don't remember, but now- How, how, how much training you've done in the guide and ops experience in the hospital you have to choose there, right? Yeah, if, you know, for those who have done their post-graduation degrees, like uh, they can put their degree directly. They don't need any experience certificate. But somebody like me that who don't have any recent post-graduate degree, they can do is that whatever their recent experience certificate, what I did with myself is that I have now almost seven, eight years from here, Saudi Arabia. So I just put my that experience certificate in the, in the experience. So that is enough. If somebody wants to put more, there is no restriction in there. They can put Because more. that's a separate folder, friends. And students, what they do is they just upload those documents because it's not restricted like one or two or three documents you can upload. For any assessment of training, if you've got an additional postgraduate degree, you can definitely put, for example, I had put my MRCOG degree. You get my point? So it's fine that you can put any of the degree there that has been done for you and you can put there so that they can do your assessment of training simple. So nothing to worry about that. Moreover, even tomorrow, when you people are doing that and you are stuck up, you just have to drop in a message there and we would be there to guide you that what is the next step? Because at times uh, teaching it or guiding you verbally is different. But when you see on the screen, you people are stuck up at some point. So nothing to worry at all. The team would be there to guide you guys at that point in time. All right. Everybody would be available for you guys. All right. OK. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow I will be also there. If they have any query, we, we will be there. Inshallah. Yeah, we would all be there and you people are just going to tag us and we will see keep on scanning the messages uh the main telegram group the open telegram group please all would be writing there so that everybody is available you would be learning from others as well have students they are solving their problems last year this happened in the last attempt in the september this happened as well that in the telegram group everybody was writing and guiding each other okay i have done you people do it quickly the only suggestion is that please don't make it a delay all right yes please sharika my dear uh, Nikita, can you copy paste again, my dear? It went up in the chat. Thank you very much, Dr. Khalda. I'm grateful to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All thank right. You. Uh, my testimony. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. My testimonial form is signed. Do I also need 18 month certificate? Testimonial is something else, Nikita, and the experience is something else, my dear. Yeah, you need you need both things separately. Okay. Thank you. What is the application time, Sheila? Everybody, be available. Be ready at 8 a.m. Irish time. I repeat, 8 a.m. Irish time, you all should be ready. If at all, it's at 9 a.m. and we are going to announce, but you should be ready at least five to 10 minutes before 8 a.m. Irish time, okay? All right, sure, we will be assisting in Facebook as well. Uh, we would make a post there and anybody has some query, they can put in the Facebook as well. We'll do that, my dear, all right? Yeah, sure, Khalida, always, always I remember that you message. Yeah, and I'll assign Bushra alone to you, okay? Yeah, she'll do that for you, my dear. All right, Dima has a question. I have some problem. My MRCG certificate is different from my passport name. It's okay, probably one name. I mean, the first name that will be similar, Dima. Yeah, so if the first name is fine for your degree, you can definitely upload, my dear. Okay, so do I need a fit of it as well as stating my current name and degree name person is same. Uh, Sharika, if it's available, that's fine. If they come to a query, otherwise there is an email address of Virginia at the college. You can email her and give your query. She would definitely consider. They're very helpful and they reply early. Okay, yeah, go to the website. There's an email address of the query and uh, there, the email address, you just have to put in the details and they're going to reply to your query, okay? Yeah, thank you very much, Sharika, sweetheart. One letter from the surname. That's fine. That's fine, Dima. Whatsoever is the letter, prove that, that this is your first name and your name changed after marriage or it's before marriage, whatever is the change of the name, you can simply put that document. 
Okay, Dima, nothing to worry, please. They are considered and they know this. This time, it's just the assessment of your documents. Then it's going to be payment. When the payment will be there, it will definitely guide you further. Exactly. This is the email, friends. Look at the chat box, everyone. This email address is for all the queries. And believe me, yesterday, a few of the students, they did email to Virginia and she immediately replied. So they are very good and they are very responsive in this. They're going to reply to you for all your queries. And all my Irish students are there as well. If somebody has a query, they can also go to the college. So please don't worry about that, okay? So if you have some special concerns or you have your specific queries to the college, you can just make an email and they would uh, reply to you as an individual case or scenario. Got it? Okay, please note down this email. Just copy paste this email and you can make an email. Sharika, this goes for you and uh, Dr. Khalta, this goes for you as well. All right, okay. So am I clear about tomorrow, please? Thank you, Shweta, sweetheart. Am I clear? Yes, definitely yes. Um, I would I would have all the moderators there. Busha would be there. Myra would be there. Dr. Khalda would be there. Safa would be there. I would be there above all. The website team would be there for any technical assistance, please. Everybody is going to be available for you guys. You all have to just stay there and tell us. Um, uh, students start calling me and privately message me. I am going to see the private messages as well. I would definitely be replying to the private messages as well. But at times, if, because it's like um, a group of messages coming together, if there's a delay, please do write in the main group. Because in the main group, everybody would be seeing the messages. But definitely, yes, I, I know that I'll be receiving the calls every time it does happen. I'm going to respond to you guys. But if uh, you know there is a delay, last time there were 10 15 students who were stuck up in just one point so we made immediately a group uh, and immediately the, we, we had 10 15 uh, students who were stuck up so the moderator solved their problem but then again anything is there in the main group the telegram group rfa mrcpi part two written you people can write your queries and we would be there to guide you guys okay yes so do you people understand the checklist for today let's do a quick recap friends are you people ready for the checklist of today let's repeat that for me Thank you very much, Khalda. Thank you, Dr. Abu. Let's repeat the checklist before we call it a day, please. Number one, you all have your documents ready. The list of the document is here. They should be scanned and you people have to give me a thumbs up in the study group today that your documents are ready in the form of a folder on your laptop desktop. Okay, yeah, it should be ready there, number one. Number two, that your picture, that scanned picture which you're going to upload, that should be ready. And number three, please make sure that your account on the RCPI portal, that's, that's made as well. Could I make myself clear? This is the checklist before sleeping. You have to give me a message that it is done, ma'am. I would be waiting for the message in the study group. Okay, you have to message me that it's done. Tomorrow, sharp 10 minutes before 8 a.m. GMT, you all should be ready. I'm make, going to make an announcement that yes, the opening is the window that's done. You people have to submit your applications and then would be the next part. And all those who are messaging me for the course link, please, you all have the course link here. I would uh, suggest uh, yeah, your backend team are you there, please. Can you just put the course link again? Students are messaging me on the WhatsApp and give them the coupon as well. So for next 72 hours, you can join in on 199, yeah? And then later on, then it's again going to be the full price, all right? So see you guys in the study crew. From tomorrow, we are starting the live session, live uh, schedule, the daily schedule and the live sessions from 15th. And the quiz and the daily discussion would be on throttle. See you guys in the study group. Thank you very much for being here. Yes, Shweta, she, he's, he's just sending. Yeah, thank you very much, Mubashir. Thank you. All right, friends. So take very good care of yourself. Best of luck from the entire team of RFA tutors. Love you all. Take very good care. Bye-bye from my side. See you guys in the study group. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Lots of prayers for you guys. Bye.